So one of the first questions I usually get asked is, can you bolt a turbo trans onto an NA block? So at the top, the two top bell housing bolts, you're about, let's just call it seven and a half. On the NA, you're under seven. Um, basic design is the same, but like you can see over here too, where the starter lines up, those bolts are not in the same location. And these two here and here are different. You've got a bolt there and there, here and here, as you can see, they're not close. So no, you can't. So the next question comes, can you bolt an NA bell housing to a turbo uh, middle case half? If you line up one of the dowels, you can see that bolt lines up. That one does not, that one does not. That one will, those won't. None of them on the diff half will. And then if you try to locate it up with this dowel right here, and then it'll pull it out there because the cases are there's a size difference there as well so the answer becomes no you can't do that either next can you fit a turbo diff in the smaller case nope physically the ring gear will fit but it will it's too big to see down in the bearing like goes in no problem all right these are the gear trains pulled apart see the turbo on the right is taller physically bigger okay here's our input shafts Turbo is slightly longer. So measurements on the bottom part, functionally the same. Up here, however, quite a bit thicker. And then with a low and high clutch hub. Spine. Again, quite a bit different uh, between the two in the part that really matters. And they're both hollow. These are the input clutches. Naturally aspirated turbo. It's another part that um, the size is quite a bit different. There's still five uh, low clutches, five uh, high clutches for both, but you can see. So these are the high clutches on the turbo, high clutches on the NA. Big difference there. Again, high clutches on the turbo clutches on the NA uh, quite a bit more surface area between the two that's part of why it can handle a lot more input torque than the NA cars if we're gonna measure the actual difference on the drums and eh, we'll call that six and three quarter to be generous and we'll seven and a half is all right, these are the input hubs that go on the back side of those other clutches. Just everything's bigger to fit the other um, their other hubs. A little bit different in height, again, just because of the overall length differences of the gear train inside the trans. Same material, same construction, just sized bigger. All right. 
let's get into the differences in the actual gear train and the planets themselves. Um, NA Turbo. Okay, front planet. Um, let's see. It's quite a bit bigger in and of itself. Um, and turbo is four pinion, NA is three pinion. That's the amount of gear that transmits the power. Um, we can see there's an actual, besides having more pinions, there's a height difference in the pinion gear itself. Turbo is just about an inch. And, and, I don't know, seven, eight, whatever that is. Now the rear planet, even though it's in the middle, Mazda calls it the rear. Again, similar construction, but another three pinion planet. Versus four pinion. The ring gear is physically taller because where we get into the clutches on this next part um, the clutch sizes are the same between the na and the turbo the turbo just has one clutch and one steel more per set on these the only clutches that are actually different in size were the high and the low input clutches and again we're going to have a difference in the actual pinion size Not as drastic as before, but there is a difference. And for the bottom, uh, the reduction planet is what Mazda calls this. Now, there's quite a bit of difference in here. It doesn't quite look like that right now. Pull out the sun gear in both. Let's pull it apart. So these, similar construction, just a ring gear <clears throat> around the clutch hub, nothing major different there. However, we have five pinions on the bottom of the turbo versus again three pinion. Um, these are a bit smaller in both versus the other. I didn't actually measure them. Let's grab the calipers for this one. And we'll call it 24 mil. Mm, a little. Double check. Yep, a little bit bigger, and then five of them. So, again, that's just done for strength and longevity. All right, differentials. Again, turbo, NA. This one is a little different. Um, this turbo one I've got came out of a front-wheel drive CX-9 that I have handy. A little different. Um, the transfer case splines into here, and that's what turns the rear wheels. So anytime this case moves, that turns the transfer case. So anytime you have power going through this ring gear from in the coming out of the trans, your drive shaft is spinning in the rear. Um, so there are the biggest differences are actually bolts are on the other side, which is a little interesting. Um, they are the spider gears are a bit quite a bit bigger. Um, the ring gear itself is quite a bit bigger, so we are, uh, calipers are dying. Get in here. 
It was eh, 43 mil ring gear versus 31 mil ring gear. Um, just another thing that's just upsized. The bearings are bigger. That's why it wouldn't fit. One of the reasons why it wouldn't fit in the case. Your overall ring gear is bigger. You can see how much thicker the ring gear is. Get these to just last a little while longer. So 21 mil thick. Numbers is about 12 and a half. Just everything's upsized. They did the same thing, um, kind of like they did with the Sky Active Engine. The 2.5 is just a beefed up, stretched out 2 liter. That's why nothing really interchanges on those. Um, same with these transmissions, there's not a lot other than some hardware, some clutches, um, but for the most part, everything inside the Turbo Trans is just physically bigger. All right, these are the rear covers. Again, turbo, NA, same design. They're actually the same width. Um, the big difference between these two versions, if you remember from the other videos I've done, uh, you got a set of clutches that sit here, planets sit in here, and then a piston sits over here and pushes down and then pushes up from both sides to engage these rear sets of clutches. These are physically different between the two and that just accounts for, or physically taller, that accounts for the longer gear train and then the extra clutches that are in this set on the turbo. On the backs, they're the same. The biggest difference is if you have an I-stop car, um, you can have like the I-stop pump bolts on in this area, and then you'll have a couple other feed lines for it. But functionally, these are the same. Design-wise, they're the same. If you're trying to identify from the outside, this is another spot you can do it. The turbos, we'll say FZ31. And the non-turbos, uh, where'd it go? We'll say FZ21.